What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute stretch for sore arms and legs. So grab your mat and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited that you're here to stretch it out with me. I know if you've worked as hard as I have this week, which I hope you have, you're definitely feeling your sore arms and legs. So we're gonna stretch it out today starting at the top and then we'll move our way down. We'll do a lot of seated stretches so you can just kind of rest as we move through these movements, okay? Also, challenging you today to make sure three times this week you use this stretch, okay? I post one every Sunday and if you don't work out on Sunday, sometimes it's easy to just kind of skip over that, but I want you to utilize this stretch at least three times this week. I promise your body will thank you, okay? Let's go ahead and move right into it. I want you to start, we're gonna first stretch out the shoulder. So take your left arm for me and cross it over in two, one. All right, and pull right across your chest, keeping your chest and your hips facing forward and keeping that left thumb facing the ceiling. You should feel this all in the back of your shoulder, even in your tricep a little bit. I'm feeling it here too. And we'll just spend some time in each one of these stretches. Good. Gradually pull a little bit further and let's switch it over to the other arm. Great job using that front arm across your body and your side arm to pull back. There you go. About 10 more seconds, pull a little bit further. Two, one. All right, let's take that arm up top, left arm up top, and I want you to bend it, and then grab your elbow, pull over to the other side. Okay, so from the back, it looks like this. You're pulling this elbow over. You should feel a stretch all back here in your tricep. And if you want a little additional stretch, use your thumb to push your forearm closer. There you go. And straighten that arm out. Let's switch it over to the other arm. Take this time to breathe as well. Good. Give me about 10 more seconds here. I want you to keep pushing, keep pushing. That's it, you're free to close your eyes if you need to. Two one and relax your arms. I want you to take your fingertips together out front here and let's just open up the right arm or the left arm to the back. Okay, so you've got this middle point to come back into. Open, close. Good, so you're hitting the chest and the bicep here. And of course the shoulder, front of the shoulder. Two, one, let's switch it over. Open and open and keep your thumbs facing up. Whew. Good job. Keep driving it back, keeping your chest forward so you feel the stretch here, here, and here. Good, seven. Three, two, one, all right, now let's move into the forearms a little bit. I know we've been stretching or holding onto some heavy weights. So I want you to take your left hand and pull your fingers back towards your elbow. Hold here for 15 seconds. Good, you should feel this all in your forearm right here. Okay, now I want you to release your hand and flip it over. So your fingertips are facing back towards you and pull again, and this will hit the top part of your forearm a little bit more. Okay, so you're just placing your hand on top of your hand, pulling it back gently. There you go, great job. All right, let's switch it over to the other arm. Pull your fingers down and under back towards your elbow. And just relax, don't try to push against your bottom hand, just relax this hand up top. 
So you can really let it stretch out your forearm muscles and those hand muscles as well. Good, and release, turn your hand facing down, palm of your hand facing you, and let's pull back so you feel the stretch right up top here. Good job. And this is a good idea before any workout, if you have problems with your wrists, to just make sure that you're rolling them around. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure, let's go outward circles first. Got to get some fluid in your joints, that synovial fluid that stays in your joints. Okay, you definitely want to get that lubricated before workouts. Switch directions and let's go inward circles. Good job. All right, come on back to the back of your mat and I want you to just go ahead and drop down to your hands and knees, okay? Keeping your knees right where they are, I want you to extend your hands out forward, okay? So you're still at this high angle and then drop your forehead down to the mat. Walk your fingertips out as far as you can so you really feel your back muscles and your shoulder muscles relaxing and releasing. And breathe. Walk your hands over to the left side for me. Keep that stretch going. Great job, keep breathing. Feel that stretch along the right side of your body if you're walking over to the left. And come back to the middle and let's go over to the right now. Feel the stretch all along your ribs, your shoulder, your back. Kind of force your ribs away from your hands. Great job. Let's come back into the middle. I want you to take your right arm and shoot it underneath your body. Use your left arm to push away from the floor. Okay, so we're rotating the top of your back here. Try to keep your hips as straight as you can. Good, now take your bottom arm and actually keep it on the bottom and shoot it out to the back side. So now you're gonna feel this a little more in your chest and in your bicep, the front of your shoulder using this front hand to push into the floor and away. Great job. All right, let's come on up. Switch arms, so you're gonna take your left arm, shooting it underneath your body. Use your right arm to push into the floor so you've got that upper back rotation. Good, let's remove that left arm from underneath. Take it right out to the side here and then push into the floor away. So you're arching away from that left hand over here. Amazing. Come back into the middle, back into your hands and knees position. And I want you to just kind of roll your spine. So shift your hips back a little bit and then pull your lower back up and shift it forward. And then you're just gonna drop it down. So push it back, roll the back up, come forward, roll it down. Arch it up nice and high, even look back at your belly button and then drop it down. Let's get your back just moving a little bit better. Move forward, keep it up, move back, arch it down. Good, let's go one more, push it back, pull your back up, and exhale. 
Great job. All right, let's take it out to a press up position. So back to the hands and knees, drop your hips down. Okay, and if you're not comfortable here yet, just come down onto your elbows and just give me that lower back flexion, okay? I just want your, your spine to be flexed a little bit here. All right, so if you can, come up to your hands. Good, let's rotate your shoulders over to the left. And look back over towards your left foot. And over to the right, look back towards your right foot. Here you go, now tuck your toes down and let's push up into a down dog position. And I want you to just work on hanging your neck here, okay? So get your hands where you feel like they support your upper body. And then I just want you to completely relax your neck. Great job, let's look left and right like you're doing yes and no. Great job. Come on back to your hands and knees and I want you to turn towards the front keeping your left knee on the ground and straightening your right leg out to the side, okay? Now we're gonna arch over top here Get the back of the shoulder a little bit. And let's switch it over to the other side. Same thing. Extend your leg. Arch that shoulder over like you're reaching for the opposite wall over there. There we go. Body feeling a little bit warm now. That's good. All right, I want you to keep this top leg straight and I want you to swing your bent leg underneath out to the front of your body. Okay, and then we're just gonna tuck that foot right here into your inner thigh. All right, I want you to turn your chest facing that straight leg and then go down over top of it. Okay, as you go down, I want you to really feel it in your hamstring and your calves, okay? Back here in the back of your legs. Try to keep your back straight and you'll probably feel it a little bit here in your low back as well. Uh, but we're gonna spend the last part of this stretch working on lower body, quads, hamstrings, calves, and glutes. Good job. All right, now I want you to fold over this bent leg here in the front, and you should feel this kind of in your inner thigh here. Also in your glutes. Great job. Push your chest down to the floor just a little bit more. And rest, come up top, let's just switch legs and go right over to that straight leg. Again, you might feel this in your lower back a little bit here, okay, but I also want you to feel it in this straight leg. Good job, you're doing great. Really taking the time here today to stretch these muscles, because that's what they need. Come back in over top of your bent leg and fold right over top of it. Good work. All right, come back up and let's straighten both legs out to the side. I want you first to put your hands right in front and push sitting up nice and tall so your hips are rotated forward just a little bit. Okay, place your hands here and I want you to lean forward with your chest. Okay, I don't want you to arch over and round it out. I just want you to keep your chest nice and tall, like you're sitting on your sit bones. 
Place your hands out front and just lean. You won't get as far down, that's okay, but I really wanna dig into these inner thighs here. Okay, so chest, lean. And breathe. Good, push back up for just a second and we'll go one more time. Okay, roll your hips forward. Place your hands down and lean forward. Relax your glutes. Good job. Just hold here. If you wanna lean side to side, you can. Just kinda hold right here at this level. All right, good. Let's take both legs together. Okay, seated here. And I want you to let your back round out here on this one and then fold over top of your hamstrings. All right, it's okay if they bend on this one or if your back rounds, I mean, but try to keep your legs flat. Okay, and if you're not ready, if, they, if you sit here and it pulls, just sit right here, okay? If you feel that stretch even up top here, just sit right here. If you can round it out, let's do it. Great job. All right, let's lay it on the side of your body. So flip it over onto your right hip and I want you to grab onto your left toe and pull your heel to your glute. Really, really strong pull. Forcing that same side hip forward. So don't let it come back here and stay tucked. I want you to really open up that hip as you pull higher and higher and higher. Really wanna stretch the front of your leg out here in your quad. Good job. You can bend this bottom leg if you need some uh, balance. Good, all right, now let's straighten that leg up and pull it down closer to your face. Again, you can bend your bottom leg. Really getting into the legs here. And if you're not this flexible yet, maybe grab onto the back of your leg and pull or your calf, wherever you can. I just want you to pull up towards your face. Good, let's flip it on over to the other hip. Same thing, these 20 minute stretches always go by so fast. Pulling your heel back towards your glute and really use your arm muscles to pull here. It's okay if you don't feel totally relaxed in your upper body, I just want you to relax your lower body as much as you can as you really stretch this quad muscle out. Good job. Push your hip forward, pull your hip. Good, good, good. All right, let's straighten that leg out, bring it right up top. And breathe. Job. All right, let's lay it back on your back again. I want you to cross your ankle over your knee. Push towards your face. Let's stretch these glutes out a little bit here too. Okay, so you can grab and pull here or you can just allow your leg to push your ankle towards your chest. further for four, three, two, one. All right, switch legs. You can just stay right here. And again, pull this ankle, this top ankle in towards your chest. Good 
job. A little bit further for four, three, two, one. All right, let's flip it over onto your stomach for one more slow walk stretch. All right, so on the stomach, coming up onto your hands and knees. I want you to push your butt up into the air and I want you to take about 30 seconds to walk back slowly, slowly, slowly with baby steps to your feet. Driving your heels down as soon as you can get them down. Just keep it slow. Slow walk back. Shift your hips back. And when you get there, just hang right there. You've got about 10 more seconds. Pull your chest in towards your quads. Two, one, and release. I want you to bend your knees just a little bit. Roll up nice and slow. And I hope you feel so much better than when you came in here. Guys, this was definitely one where you can sit and feel the muscles lengthening, feel them calming down, feel them stretching out. And I want you to come back to this stretch as much as possible. Stretching is only going to benefit you. I wanna make sure if you do this, it's not right before a workout, it's post-workout or it's by itself. In the warm-up, every workout video that I do, I give you a dynamic warm-up, which, which gets your muscles ready to fire and get into that workout. So it's more movement than this. So I wanna recommend that you put this post-workout or by itself in the day, either when you first wake up or when you go to bed. Okay, so utilize this, your challenge, three times this week and let me know in the comments below what muscle is the most sore for you right now. Okay, before you head out, make sure you like this stretch if you did it and of course subscribe to the channel please and also turn on your bell notification. I'll shoot you an alert every day that your workout is ready for you this coming week. I'll see you tomorrow.